The question says a small object of mass 3.82 grams and charge of minus 18.4 microcoulombs is suspended motionless above the ground when immersed in a uniform electric field perpendicular to the ground. What are the magnitude and direction of the electric field? So remember the electric field is defined as the force per unit of charge. And since the force is defined as K times K, Q1 times Q2 divided by R squared. If we substitute in this right here, we get that E is equal to, and the Qs will end up canceling out, E is equal to Q over R squared times K. So we have two uh, equations for, for the electric field. We can either do uh, the charge divided by the radius squared times times coulomb's constant or we can do the force on a given charge divided by that charge itself now more specifically an electric field is defined as whenever you have a a a reference charge this is our reference charge this whole thing's got a whole bunch of positive charge whenever you have a reference charge and uh, it's saying what would be the force of that is applied to any given charge that's placed in its in its area and so it has you can draw your field lines now remember the direction of the field lines the direction is always going to be what direction a positive charge a positive test charge would move if it was placed in that field so these are positive charges this positive ch test charge would move away from it so if this was all if this was all a bunch of negative charges then the field lines would would be facing towards the reference charge but what about if what about if a negative charge is placed in the in the field well we know the negative charge will experience a force away from the reference charge but the field lines are still always going to be defined as the direction that a positive charge would move if it was placed in the field. So the field lines are still going to, we're saying the field is in the direction towards the reference charge. So this actually answers the second part of the question. It wants to know in what direction is the electric field. And so the electric field is, in the question, is, it's towards the ground, it's downward, because we're saying that we have this, this ground, and we say we're placing a negative charge above the ground and it's experiencing a force opposite of gravity so it's experiencing this electrical force and it's also experiencing this gravitational force and it's held at equilibrium above the ground so those forces have got to be equal if a negative charge is being repelled we know that the the um, the reference charge is also going to be negative and therefore the field line has to be towards it because a positive charge would move downward so it's asking us what the mag. So we, we know what the direction is. It wants to know the magnitude of the electric field. So we're saying the magnitude is equal to the force of the electric, uh, the electric force, divided by the charge. The other clue is that it says it's suspended motionless. That means that it's in equilibrium. So the sum of the forces have to equal zero. So if we draw our negative charge, we know that that we have this force of we have this force of, of electric, the electric force, and we have the gravitational force. And so that means that if we, if we define our vectors as upward being positive, then we would say FQ minus FG equals zero. Or we could rewrite it so the force of the charge is equal to the force of gravity. So then all we have to do is replace the force of the charge with the force of gravity and divide it by the charge. So the force of gravity is mg. So E, E is going to be equal to mg over Q. And when we have Q, it's going to be the absolute value of Q because we've already defined the direction. I'm going to move everything down so I can clear some room. And the, the thing we want to be careful with, mg, so the mass is 3.82 grams. So that's the mass is equal to 3.82 times 10 to the 10 to the negative third kilograms. G equals 9.8 meters per second squared, or you could round to 10 meters per second squared if you want. And the charge Q is going to be equal to to 
neg uh, we're just going to say the absolute value of q is equal to 18.4 times 10 to the negative 6th coulombs. So if you plug those numbers into to our equation right, right here, then you should get that the electric field is equal to 2034.565 newtons per coulomb.